us to be with the full destiny that we need to be. When you allow God into your life, your heart and when you like when you allow God into your heart, your life and mindset and perception of things will also change. Amen. I can see that right now because I feel like when I'm in school, I feel like some of the things I, I see, the stuff people have been around, I feel like are drawn away from them at sometimes. Because I know that what they what they have in their hearts is not really what needs to be around me. Yeah. And I feel that God is separating me sometimes. Even sometimes I feel like I don't want to walk home with my friends sometimes. Go ahead. Because I sometimes just want to be myself. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I feel that change happening recently that that a lot of things that's going on in the world that they're being overtaken by. Jesus. And that's why I'm that's why I feel like I should step up more in a better place to know that hey, you can't be doing certain stuff like that. You can't you can't be going on how you do things, you can't be going out to parties, you can't be doing that because you can't yeah. be doing that, because you know that at this young age is the best year to start. At this young age. Yes it is. Because only the only the only thing you're doing now is getting a, a getting a better start of doing kingdom yes. kingdom work. Yes. you're on the bus, hey, you ever, heard, you ever heard about the story of Jesus Christ? That's and that's all it starts. Even with a basic conversation, even people that even people that can see the change, like I had one friend come up to me, he's like, something's different about you. And I'm like, yeah, I, 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 I feel the difference in, in me. And I started talking to him. I never told my parents this, but I started talking to him. And then that's, and I'm going I mean, to keep talking to him because he seemed interested. Amen. He seemed interested, and that's how it starts. Even, yeah. I will take as long as I can to win that soul. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But it was to us that God revealed these things 
by the Spirit. Yes. For His Spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit. And no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. Amen. Yes. And, when, and when we have received God's Spirit, not the world's spirit, so then we can know these wonderful things that God has freely given us. When we tell these things, we do not use words that come from the human wisdom, Amen. but instead we speak with the words that God has given us. Amen. But people who are spiritual cannot, people who are not spiritual cannot receive the thing, the well, truth from God. Yeah. It all sounds foolish to them. Jesus. And they cannot understand it, for only those who are spiritual can understand Amen. what the spirit means. Yes, sir. This goes on to talk about exactly what I have been proclaiming this whole time. Thank you, Jesus. When you, let, when you let God into your hearts, your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit, everything that's of, of you is God. You, under, you understand the things of the spirit. You understand that, okay, I can't do certain things right here. Amen. I gotta move from over here to this Amen. situation. Right. I gotta stay right here where God wants me, Go and I gotta get rid of everything else that's in front of that's you. Right. You gotta put the blinders on to everything else that God knows, that you know that God don't want you to do. Amen. And then when you understand that, that means you understand His Spirit. Whoa. And when you can listen to His Spirit, He allows you to move even further and further and further into that. And when you move further and further into that, you move closer to your destiny where God has put you. And when you move closer to the destiny, that means you're doing the work of the kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, when, but yeah, when you don't hear the, when when you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, the things of the things of the Spirit seems foolish. That's why. That's why when the world. That's when the world. That's when, that's how when the world sees that you're proclaiming that God is your holy savior, they say, "What? What are you talking about? Uh, Make you seem like you're crazy." Jesus. But that's just a tactic of the enemy to know to just keep you distant away from God Amen. because they, because they people a lot of people like to fit in nowadays. Jesus. And, they, they, and, the, and the popular vote saying that oh what you're saying is foolish. Then yeah. some people, then the sad thing is some people might start moving over here with them. But, but I'm here to let you know that you gotta stay close to God no matter. No matter what circumstances, no matter who's in your way, no matter who's in you, you gotta stay focused on God. Put the blinders on Amen. and keep focused on God because God has a greater purpose than anything that you will ever think of. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Going on to say that, once you once you finally accept the Holy Spirit into you, you have to know that you have to keep focused on the Holy Spirit. Amen. And get rid of it. And once you build that connection, you have to maintain it like you would do anything else. Amen. Like you have a dog. You have to you have to bathe the dog, take the dog out. If 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 you don't take care of the dog, the dog might try to run away from you. You never know. And so you so you so no matter what you're doing, you have to maintain what you're doing in God. Amen. You have to. Amen. Because if you don't, you go you hit one a minute, Jesus. And then you drift away. Oh. And you back right back to that and you drift away. Oh. And that's inconsistency. And God was a consistent person that's Amen. gonna represent oh. his faith no matter what city. Amen. 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 Now I'm gonna go to Colossians chapter three. Take it down. Hallelujah. Verse two. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus! Lord, I love you all. Yes, Colossians yes. chapter 2, verse 2. And it says, For you died to this life, and your real life is hidden with Christ God. Yes. Hallelujah. Meaning that since you've been rebirthed in a sense from the ways of the world, because we're born into the world, so we're gonna be we're gonna be raised in the ways of the world, but when but when you accept Jesus Christ, you'll be birthed. And so that old way of living, that old way of mindset, that old perception of how everything goes uh, is gone. Amen. And that means that once you, once you accept God in your life, you have to stay focused and planted no matter what, like a tree on the ground. Amen. You don't see a tree moving, right? Good. I don't see a tree moving either. Oh, so of course you're going to have to stay planted in God. No matter what. Right. You already accepted Jesus Christ in life. Even the people that throw away, if God, if, if it's God's purpose, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna drift right back to unto Him. Yes. Amen. But we don't want to do that. We want to stay planted in God no matter what. Amen. Amen. We want to stay planted in God no matter Amen. what. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's important to stay focused on God no matter what circumstance it is, because it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Amen. You may start out strong at first, giving 
out the flyers, giving out everything, praying every Friday, praying every Monday, praying all the all day. But, but, as, but as soon as you as soon as you let, as soon as you let that focus be on for you, and you let the devil creep into your heart, give you little whispers like, hey, you know you want that drink, right? Jesus. That's gonna open up a whole new mindset. That's gonna open up a whole new mindset that what you've been taught of. Amen. And that and to matter the sort of main focus is is you always gonna stay strong no matter what. Amen. Don't they, don't they off in the word because you think that you know it all. Jesus. You gotta keep focused no matter what situation you're in. Amen. Because it's all it's all about the thirst for God and no matter what, you have to stay thirsty for God. Amen. As I said before, allowing God into your life at a young age is nothing but beneficial because it allows you to be able to do the work of the kingdom at a broader stage, attracting kids from, kids from all ages to the kingdom of God. Amen. So, um, so today I encourage kids to be still and know that he is God in the madness of the world. Amen. And I'm closing with John Amen. chapter 15, verses 10 through 15. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. Praise him. And it reads, when you obey my commandments, you remain in my love. Amen. Just as I obey my Father's commandments and I remain in his love. Amen. So far the scriptures. Glory. Amen. Amen. Success to me is seeing people transform. Amen. And when I look about me, I see young people being transformed, young people being being uh, 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 um, changing into the heart of God. And he's that type of young man. Amen. That God is truly working with him. And sometimes you have something so close and you don't see what God is doing in them. Yeah. But God is doing a great work in that young man. Amen. Amen. Great teachers. And I look at it like guys, young guys like Jacob, yeah. you know, all of them yeah. is going to come up yes. to preach the word of God. Yes. To teach the word of God. Yes. 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 Because you know what, Jacob, that's an example. You can do it. Yes. So when you go down there, take it seriously. Yes. Learn. Yes. Grow. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? That's because right. pretty soon we're going to see you come up here. Right. And pray for, I'm going to see you come up here, brother. I'm going to see you. Yes. I'm going to see you. Amen. So be dedicated. Be committed, yeah. really. Because Amen. it's not about preaching, but also you guys need to go out there and win the yes, soul. Yes. 
just like the older people are doing it, you guys go out there and, and win the soul. God going to do great things with you. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible says, a child shall lead them. them. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. A child shall lead them. This ministry is changing. Amen. And I think that when you're in God, and it's changing for the better. Amen. It's changing for the better of God because he, you know why? Because I'm changing. Yes. Amen. And right there, in this summertime, I tell people, if you're not going to pull up your sleeve well, and go to work, Jesus, I'm going to be in the street getting them souls. Amen. Amen. I'm going to represent God. I'm going to represent Jesus. I'm representing the Lord. kingdom. Amen. And you know what else it is? If anybody coming here Look, sick, Jesus, they're not going to leave here the same way. Amen. 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 If somebody coming here demon possessed, Jesus, they're not going to leave here the way to come. Amen. This is the time that we forget church as it is. I'm tired uh, of religion. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm tired of church as it is. Amen. I'm tired of the games that the people trying to play. Jesus. But you know what? Let's be a different people. Let me tell you something. When you try to walk like Jesus Amen. and be like Jesus Look, to even church folks, Jesus, you're going to sound weird. Amen. But let me tell you something. The world is dying. People are hurting. Yeah. People are hurting. They don't want to hear about Jesus. Amen. They want to see Jesus. Yeah, yeah, so let's show them who Jesus is. Amen. And you know the only way that they can see Jesus is when you die well, and let them live in you. Amen. Amen. Paul said this, it's no longer I that live, Lord. but Christ that live in me. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We, we're going to raise up and walk around. There's something on them. There's, oh, there's something. Oh, come on. Yes, yes, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you,